But a sniper has to be more than just a good shot. He must also be very patient. In a real battle situation, snipers and their spotters spend hours, even days, lying in wait. Sometimes it takes an entire day for a team to move less than a few hundred meters. In the SEAL teams, we have the best trained snipers in the military. Our snipers do a lot more than just shoot. They're our forward observers. They're our eyes and ears. Before we go out on a mission, we'll send snipers in to observe the target, to do reconnaissance. That way we can ensure 100% probability of a successful mission when we call the platoon in. Snipers can hang back and wipe out a target a distraction that forces the enemy to take cover or flee while the rest of the SEAL team can carry out their mission. This keeps the enemy off balance, a tactic that works extremely well for such a small unit. 90% of a sniper's job is collecting intel. 10% is being a surgeon with bullets. Everybody around me is counting on me to make the shot go exactly where I want it to go every time. You've got to control your breathing. Everyone knows what happens when they get excited. They might start to shake, they breathe heavier, your heart rate goes up. You've got to have control over that. You've got a lot of tunnel vision just looking through a 16 power scope, right? You can't see a whole lot, you're looking in a small area. But you also find yourself just focusing on one thing. For instance, the guy you just shot there's some kind of morbid fascination where you want to go back and look at him and you, you've got to pull yourself back from those effects of the adrenaline so you're not wasting your time looking at someone who's already dead he's not a threat anymore you gotta look for the new threat address it and neutralize it